Hey guys, I'm in the kitchen because this is another episode of The Daily Dish. That's right, girl, starring your girl. Tony, I've been throwing it down lately. Lately, I mean like twice in the last year. At any rate, the boy is not too pleased with me right now. So I'm going to try to cheer him up by baking him a cheesecake. I know what you're thinking. Tony, I thought you couldn't cook. Wrong. I said I don't cook. Never said I can't. So yeah, your girl can cook and bake. And I'm about to make him a cheesecake from scratch. My way of making it is pretty simple but pretty delicious. So I've been told I actually don't eat cheesecake. First thing we're gonna do is work on the crust, which is a graham cracker crust. There we go. Now you can actually buy a pre-made graham cracker pie crust from the grocery store for pretty cheap, like three or four bucks, but I think it tastes better homemade and it's super easy to make. It's only two ingredients. This is actually the boy's little mini food processor. He got it for Christmas from Half. Shout out to her. All right, so there's my one and a half, about one and a half cups of granulated graham crackers that I ground up and I'm just gonna add some butter to that. It's literally only two ingredients, so I'm only gonna add a quarter of a cup of melted butter to that and mix it really well together. And then mix this together really well. And then you wanna press that into the bottom of a nine inch pan. Usually I use like one of the tall ones, the spring form ones, but this is all they had at the grocery store. So hopefully, hopefully it still works out. All right, this is how my um, crust turned out. You guys, this smells so good, like butter and cookies. That's all you really need for dessert. All right, so I'm just gonna pop this in my freezer while I work on the filling. I should probably be wearing like a cute little 60s housewife getup, but listen, you're gonna get what you get, okay? And you guys, I'm finally pulling out the jewel of my kitchen. This was, not that. <laughs> this was a gift from my girls, Keisha and Hap. They got me this for Christmas because as you can probably tell, I have a thing for KitchenAid, 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 KitchenAid. So, even though I, I'm not often in the kitchen, I wanted this to sit on my counter because I just think it's so pretty. So I'm actually gonna use it today to make the boys cheesecake. So Hap and Keisha will be so happy. <laughs> it wouldn't be a cheesecake without cream cheese, obviously. So I've got three um, bricks of cream cheese, which I'm going to add to this bowl, along with um, about a cup of sugar, a little less than a cup of sugar. That's the cream cheese and the sugar, and I just beat it on low till it got nice and smooth and well blended. So I'm gonna go ahead and add four eggs in here now, one at a time, and again, I'm gonna blend it on slow. Now we're gonna put a hat, okay. Things too loud. So now we're gonna add a half a cup, can you see that? Half a cup of sour cream into the mixture, which it's getting nice and smooth now. We're gonna beat that in on slow. So only two more ingredients. We're gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then you don't want it to be too loose, so you just wanna add two tablespoons of flour back into it. All right, my oven is preheated to bake at 325. Um, so I'm about to take the crust out of the freezer. It's nice and firm now that it's been sitting in the freezer and I'm gonna pour my lovely cream cheese mixture in there. Let's see how much of this fits in there because like I said, I was supposed to actually use a spring form pan, but this is all I could find, girl. fit almost all of it in there but I don't want to go overboard I'm gonna pop this in the oven and bake it until the top is golden brown so I'm gonna set my timer for about 45 minutes and then check it I 
I think because I overfilled it, I ended up needing a little bit more time. So I left her in for an hour instead of 45 minutes. And here's how she's looking. She's golden around the outer and still a little bit jiggly in the middle. So I think that's perfect. I'm gonna take her out and sit her on a cooling rack to let her cool down. Look how pretty. Okay, my cheesecake is pretty much done. It's just in the fridge cooling. It's been in there for like an hour and a half. I'm probably gonna leave it for a little bit longer. And at this point, your cheesecake is done, you guys. You can top it with whatever you want, um, like whipped cream, some people like chocolate sauce, caramel sauce. The boy loves cherries, so I'm gonna do pretty simple topping. I've got some cherry pie filling, and I'm just gonna thin this down with a little bit of fruit juice and use that to top the cake. I mean, pie? No, cake, cheesecake. So I just have orange juice, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of orange juice to thin it out a little bit. You can use any juice, really, to be honest. I mean, the cherries are so sweet that the orange juice is gonna be fine. This is my finished cheesecake, guys. I'm gonna pop it back in the fridge to chill, and um, I guess the boy will have to be back for a verdict because like I said, I don't eat cheesecake or fruit, so this is like not right up my alley. I will leave um, my simple recipe below. Hopefully you guys give it a shot, and hopefully you love it. So I